Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the new uh, single-player series. I decided to fire, fire it all up again. It's uh, It's been a while. I've been working on lots of mods and working lots in my uh, real life here. So uh, I decided to fire up the single-player mods again, or single-player uh, videos again, because I've had of, uh, a lot of people asking, you know, when they're coming back. Uh, the multiplayer ones will be coming to a stop here. Um, I'm pretty much, I think I've gone through every video now. Uh, for the time being, so I'm going to make a single player series for a little bit till the multiplayer gets back up and rolling again. Uh, so yeah, anyway, moving on with the series here. Uh, we're starting on a map that is not yet public to anybody. Uh, it's called Frostline Ridge. Actually, it might be public to some people by the time this video comes out. Who knows? Um, Frostline Ridge. So it's uh, basically just a really pretty uh, winter logging map. Uh, for the first time ever, I am actually using the Seasons mod, which applies snow as well as seasonal effects uh, to the map itself. So we'll get snow that we'll have to plow out and play around with, and uh, yeah, it should be kind of fun. It's been a while since I've been able to actually just sit down and do some logging, so I'm uh, personally a little bit excited for it. Uh, so first of all... Um, New machines, uh, I'm not going to go over that because this is a single player video, but yeah, we're using all the new machines from the V11 pack, which is not yet public. It's uh, going to be getting tested by Patreons here, either it is right now or will be shortly, so. Um, yeah, right now, I was just in the process of testing out this new snowplow thing that I built. This is called the Pegasus 2. It is a uh, snow plowing device. It is used for pretty well only snow plowing. You can also haul p chips in the back, like wood, or not wood chips, like pieces. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot load snow or silage into the back of this because the plow script kind of screwed with it. So this is strictly a snow plow, but if you want to throw bits of wood in the back, like physical chunks, um, you can raise the box and tip it to lower and drop all those chunks out as well. So, uh, pretty cool little little toy. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to be using it to uh, have a little bit of fun here, so. Uh, I'm learning how to plow. Uh, this thing is definitely a beta, beta snow plow for the time being, so I'm learning kind of how to, how to make sure it runs properly. <laughs> but uh, so far it's been pretty good. So yeah, basically we're just going to plow our way up to uh, a landing, I guess, and start doing some logging. I haven't quite decided where I want to go yet, so. Uh, I don't even know where the hell I am, to be honest. Uh, let's go this way. Sure. It's the sad part about building maps is I can't even remember. Here, we're gonna pile the snow off here. Dump it all, unrealistically, in a big pile. Alright, and then we're going to plow out this corner. Because I imagine it will snow again, so we gotta stay on top of this. There we go. Beauty. So yeah, basically I'm just trying to plow out a little spot all the way up to the hill here. Uh, just because I know that's going to make life a little bit better. Let's see here. And once it actually snows heavily, um, I'm definitely going to need a nice clear path here. And that's what I'm trying to do is make a nice path. So again, this beta is in, uh, or this beta, this snowplow is in beta, so it's, uh, you're gonna see some funky stuff probably while I'm trying to use it. It's not 100% by any means, but it's, uh, sure is fun to play with. Maybe we'll just go right up to this spot right here. So let's plow out a little area here. I'm just going to cut the road off right there. If we want to plow more, we will. So what we're going to do is maybe plow out a little landing right here in this little, this little cove. If I can pull it off. <laughs> it's actually working quite well. This would be the first time, like I've done lots of uh, beta testing making this thing, but uh, I haven't actually really played played with it yet so we'll see how it goes here there's not really a whole lot of snow on the ground right now so it shouldn't be too too bad it's kind of 
kind of trying to plow out a section because I know if I don't do it, it's going to get probably pretty ugly in here. keep kind of shimmying that pile over there it's not really meant to uh, apparently to do it like this you know we're just gonna bury the road right here because I don't really care you know so we've made kind of a weird little <laughs> I don't know what we've done but it's uh, definitely neat snow plowing is a strange thing let me tell you a new art to me uh, and we also got that uh, new um, loader as well with the bucket on it so I'll be able to uh, probably plow the snow right out Let's do it from this view here for a second <laughs> neato alright so this is gonna be our landing uh, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm not the best snowplower in the world, clearly, but that was fun. Just gonna park this bad boy right here. And that's where that's gonna stay. Now, we gotta go back and uh, start loading up some stuff. So let's get the loader and the buncher up there first. That's probably our best bet. Basically, then we hang out and wait for winter to kick in. I haven't actually done any logging. Like, I've done lots of testing. I never really stopped testing, but... I haven't done any actual serious log logging in a, in a while here. Oops. Oops, I guess I gotta turn these off. I don't know if it's something to do with the seasons mod, but it seems to lock it so that I can't, uh... Can't disable automatic vehicle start. I actually like vehicles automatically starting, but... That's just me, I guess. And we'll back these ones and do back-to-back uh, -back here. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Put them inside one another here. Okay, let's, uh, let's see here. Hook it up and give it a tug here. Beauty. Okay, let's just leave it there for now. That's good enough. Let's just get it up the hill. How about it? Not much of a turnaround up there. Where the hell is my road? I can't even remember where I built it. Oh, there it is. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. So this is my first time testing uh, low bedding, actually, with the new truck as well, so I should probably watch out for that. Follow our nicely plowed little road here. Actually, I don't know, plowing is kind of cool. Uh, I can see totally what the uh, what the lure was for people. To be able to see a road that you've actually built is pretty neat. I mean, Grant, I wish it was even better, like, more, um, more detailed, but uh, it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. Pretty neat indeed. Grab some screenshots just in case we want a thumbnail for this uh, very first single player video for the uh, new series here. And then before we know it, we're going to have uh, Farming Simulator 2019 riding up on us here, so that should be interesting. I'm always, always excited to see where we can move things to, upgrade things a little bit more if we can. If it's, whoops, if it's a possibility. I am all over the road here like a drunken person. This bank, these banks are something I gotta get used to here. Whoop. I have a feeling my back end's lifted up quite a bit here. It's a lot of weight. But I think we'll get it. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to drop this right here. And we can offload these bad boys right here. 
going to park these off into the bush a teeny little bit because I think we're going to need this space to turn around. There we go. The loader's not going to be needed for a little bit, so let's park that up here. Still sounds like my truck's going. It's stuck in La La Land here. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can turn this bad boy around a little here for us. It's a long trailer, so I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to try. Can't say we didn't try, because we're definitely trying. To jackknife it on itself a little bit here, but I think we'll get it. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Ah. Darn. <laughs> darn, darn, darn. Uh, okay, we're almost there, though. Should have parked the loader just a teeny bit more back. Go park it up on this nice hill here. How about that? You know, I'd probably make a really cool picture. Sorry. Photographer slash first person, uh, single player player. Oh my god, that looks cool. Like it, I like it a lot. I'm in now this jackknife nightmare over here. Oh, come on, you're almost through. What is even happening here? Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna learn how to drive first of all. I should have just pulled the trailer in, but I was being lazy, so we're gonna use this really sweet loader to give us a hand here. Cause it's good at that. In theory it's good at that. Oh, oh. Apparently that trailer is a lot heavier than I thought it was. Oops, I guess this thing's running. See if we can grab a hold of this end here. Don't try this at home, kids. You'll probably wreck your beautiful machine. I'm just trying to see if I can. You know what's really annoying? Whatever this camera situation is, I think it must be that dynamic camera. Aha! That's why this thing's jumping all over the place. I was wondering what the heck, I'm like, why is it acting so bizarre? Okay, all we want to do is pull this this way. Don't flip it over on its head. That's not good. Don't do that. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can flip it again and it'll work out just fine. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. There we go. Then we just grab a hold of the stupid thing and pull it this way. Ha <laughs> ha! Magic! Just like they do with logging trucks in the bush. Turn you off here. Alright. Let's go back and get the rest of the goodies here. So we need our processor. That's going to be an important one. Need our processor and what else? We'll probably throw the skitter on there. We might just drive the skitter up. Do some off-roading. I wish you could make it so the dynamic camera was on in trucks like this, but off in loaders, because it's so annoying to have it on in a loader, but it's really nice to have it on in a truck. Crazy world, eh? Alright, so we're going to go back, grab some stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get cutting on this video or not. I think this will be strictly a move the equipment video, which I know it's probably not the most entertaining thing to watch, but it's got to get done, you know? Somebody's got to do it. I was thinking about maybe moving all the equipment up there before I recorded the video, but, eh. Got to give you guys the sweet introduction and all that to the, uh, the whole system there. There's our riser loader. I did set that one up before the video, prepared for unloading trucks when we get to that point. So what do we got here? We got the Amarok and the Hyde. And then the Banshee. I think the Banshee, I'm just going to drive up, though. We can definitely get these on there. Once it snows a bit more, we will probably need it. And then we got a 
Pegasus is over there too. The first Pegasus, that one's used for uh, loading up goodies. So we'll try to get this one and the Amarok up there, I guess. Oops. Same situation. I should probably put a better ramp on that. Apparently there's a uh, bit of a hang up there. And let's get the other one on there. These things look so much better with all that nice glistening tracks. Ugh, I love it. Playing with the snow a little bit there, as you can see. <laughs> and I wonder if we can make this... Oh, I'm sure we can. Okay, let's try and see if we can... It's a much smaller little machine, so it should fit just fine. I gotta tab through everything here. Jeez Louise, too much tabbing. Too much tabbing, man, I can't handle it. One thing I'm looking at doing, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do or not, is trying to scale them down a bit. That's my, one of my number one complaints is people complaining about the scale of the machines. I, uh, I don't know. I still like them the way they are. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I might look at it. We'll see what happens. If it's a, if I can find an easy way to do it, I'll scale them. If it's gonna be like redoing every machine, I'm not doing that. I mean, when you look at it from a first person view, it feels like the scale isn't crazy to me. Anyway, it feels pretty normal. Now, in comparison, if you buy in-game vehicles and stuff like that, um, maybe maybe less realistic. But you gotta look at it from my point of view too. I gotta I gotta worry about all the physics on my end as well, like these trees. If I make a tiny little loader, I can't put a uh, you know eight foot grapple on a tiny little loader. So these trees, okay, let's put it this way: if these trees were realistic in any way, shape, or form, like real life trees, then yes, I could build a tiny, exactly to scale, shitty little button top or something, and it would re be just fine. But unfortunately, these trees and the physics engines behind these trees do not um, allow me to do that. So, kind of a pain in the butt, but that's life. Such is life. So this bad boy, I'm going to go park up by the... Um, snow plow because that's what it's going to be for is for loading up that s god I wish I really wish I could put the snow plow and the um, pegasus into one into one machine but I apparently can't I don't know what the hell that was something in my room fell down scared the living shit out of me actually but I don't know what it was so I'm going to put this one on ghosts That looks good. We'll just leave you there. And I think I'm just gonna sell the low bed and that just so we have less models being loaded up on the map here. And then once we clear a nice little roadside spot, we can uh, pull all that wood down the hill, process it into a nice pile and load it on trucks. But for the time being, I'm just going to park this guy back here into this little cove. Right up in here is perfect. Excellent. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell. Let's take a guess and say it's this truck. Nope, I guessed the wrong truck. Oh, darn. That's okay, though. We can just buy another one. We're rich. We can buy them. We can sell them. No harm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy another truck. So we have one down at the mill. And we're gonna drive this bad boy all the way up. Which is a little slow at 35 kilometers an hour, but I promise you we will get there. We'll be using this guy a lot, I think, to pile up the snow as well. You probably wouldn't even need a snow plow, honestly. You could just push with this, but... Um, 
Might as well have some fun, right? Right on. Oop. Let's see if we can drive straight. It's a bit of a long drive, but you know, get to enjoy the nice uh, winter morning view here. I'm gonna decide whether I like inside the cabs on these better or outside the cabs better. Probably outside. I just like looking at this thing. God, it's a pretty, pretty skitter. And it screams like a banshee. Now I'm gonna clear this corner out a little bit better. Let's use the skitter to our advantage here. Let's, uh, I can't remember how to raise and lower the blade. There we go. I do is just kind of wipe out this edge of this corner here is my plan there we go good enough for me just so I can make that corner when I'm bringing up loads and then uh, what will happen is once it snows again, whenever that is, uh, we'll have a whole crap ton more snow to plow. And then the snow is going to get really deep and it's going to be really hard to navigate through. <laughs> but we'll see. I think it'll be fun. This is my first time again using Seasons Mod, so... Um, I don't know, it just adds that extra level having the snow in it. And, you know, gives it that little bit of extra... Je ne sais quoi. So my whole plan is we're going to cut out this uh, cup block up here. Oh, I didn't notice that. With the Seasons mod, uh, it also has something... It says 30 engine hours or 36 days until maintenance is required. So I wonder if that means you have to reset the vehicle and bring it back to... Um, it back to the base or whether you can just do the work on it and pay for it I don't know pay for a mechanic to come out to the bush who wants to bring all their equipment back right nobody wants to do that all right so we still have a few minutes here so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start chopping down a couple trees just to get things started here park this thing in the bushes and we're gonna save because I don't want to lose everything that I uh, just had Maybe we'll just do a little bit of a chop here, just for fun. Where does our... Where is our cut block line, anyway? The cut block is... Oh, it's this whole sheet here, so... So from just past that buncher... To where? Where does it go? Does it go all the way up into here? Oh yeah, wow. There's the other side of things. Oh yeah, so it would basically be this whole valley all through here, all the way back down there. That's a nice big size block. I think, uh, I think we'll do it. So what we'll do is we're just going to get things started here, chop down a couple trees, clear this landing a little bit. That's kind of what I want to do. So let's hop in this bad boy. I haven't run this guy in about a week, so this should be interesting. <laughs> Alright, here we go test you out so let's clean up some of these local trees here and I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet uh, maybe I'll just start a pile for the processor and uh, maybe we'll just put it over here just for fun we'll process in this direction just to make things nice and easy Beauty. And we'll put that up here. Excellent. Now I have a test of something here real quick. I might want to have to rebuy that. Yeah, 
getting some strange little frame rate drops. I swear I get the frame rate drops because of uh, the Seasons mod. It's just a little performance stuff. It's like it's not meant to have snow on this map or something. I don't know. Who knows, man? Who knows? So let's, uh, let's just, uh... Maybe we'll just start right at the cut block edge there, too, so we can kind of haul back a little bit. Where does it become a cut block? Oh, there's the cut block edge right there. So we have to stay within the confines. By law, we're supposed to stay within the confines of this, um, of these trees right here. So that's what we're going to try to do. I mean, we can't have that one, though. Uh, okay, so... Hmm, I'm trying to think how I'm gonna... How I'm gonna do this here. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna lay the trees right into this little pocket right here. And then we can skid them out or process them right on the spot. Do some, um... Do some down... Downhill processing here. Not my favorite, but hey, we'll do it if we got it. take oops we'll take that tree and let's try to take this one too oh I think I lost it it's the problem with these fuzzy trees is I can't see uh, when I'm dropping the trees it's kind of a pain in the butt let's see if we can pick this one back up and add to our sweet little pile there Trying to play hard to get, eh? Alright, let's bomb it right down in there. Oh, wrong side of the tree. You don't want that. There we go. Oof, that's a hefty tree, that one. Okay, let's grab this one as well. Beauty. So yeah, we're going to try the Seasons mod out for a while, see how it goes performance-wise, uh, see how it goes playing-wise. Uh, worst comes to worst, if it doesn't work, we can always turn it off uh, throughout the gameplay here as well, if it's causing too many issues. So far, it seems to be okay. I definitely see some frames, frame uh, stuttering going on that I'm not really happy with, but uh, I'll have to do some testing after this video and just find out if that's exactly what's causing it. So I would like to keep it. I'd like to plow snow and have some fun doing that. I remember I used to do double trees all the time because I used to have those tiny, tiny, tiny little ones, but... Now we have to stick to the bigger trees because the little ones cause too many problems. You know, the classic sacrifice everything for fun. These man skittermen are not going to be impressed with that. Bunch those together a little bit better. There we go. Oh. Let's see if you turn the blade on. Although this thing would probably make a pretty hefty axe if you were to bang it against the tree enough times with that blade. Regardless of whether it's running. Alright, we're going to cut this tree and then we should probably wrap this video up. And we'll continue on the next one. Let's see here. There we go. Alright, so we're going to park it here for now. Probably come back and there'll be 30 feet of snow. Well, we'll turn the light off on that so we do it proper. Oh, it looks pretty. Okay, so slowly cutting our way up this hill, and then we're going to back cut probably over to our, our other spot over here. And then, uh, yeah, we should have it looking like a real logging show here by the by the end of things. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to save it here. Uh, we'll call it for this video, and uh, when we come back next time, we'll keep cutting and uh, see where we end up. We'll catch you next time. See ya.